Did you know that a staggering 25% of the world's population is grappling with non-alcoholic fatty liver disease? It's a silent epidemic, stealthily affecting lives worldwide. But what exactly is this condition, and why should we pay attention? Welcome to the Health & Wellness Hub, your go-to destination for cutting-edge insights and practical tips on achieving optimal health. Join us on this enlightening journey as we uncover the truth about NAFLD and empower ourselves with knowledge for healthier, happier lives. Don't forget to engage with us by sharing your thoughts and experiences in the comments below. Now, let's dive right in. Fatty liver disease, or NAFLD for short, is a common liver condition characterized by an excess of fat stored in the liver. This typically affects individuals who are overweight, obese, or consume little to no alcohol. Now this might seem like a benign issue, but the reality is far from it. NAFLD is a bit of a wolf in sheep's clothing. It starts off seemingly harmless, but if left unchecked, it can morph into a more severe form known as non-alcoholic statohepatitis, or NASH. This isn't just a fancier name, it's a graver condition. NASH can lead liver inflammation, scarring, cirrhosis, and potentially liver cancer. Yes, you heard it right, liver cancer. The prevalence of NAFLD is on an alarming rise globally. Our source, the renowned Mayo Clinic, lends credibility to this fact, and it's not just the numbers that are concerning. The risk factors associated with NAFLD and NASH are equally troubling. Obesity, diabetes, high cholesterol, and metabolic syndrome are all contributors to this silent epidemic. Moreover, NAFLD presents with symptoms such as fatigue, discomfort in the upper right abdomen, and sometimes no symptoms all making it even more challenging to diagnose. Early detection and lifestyle modifications are crucial in managing and preventing the progression of NAFLD and NASH. But the tricky part is that NAFLD often comes with no noticeable symptoms. It's like a stealthy invader wreaking havoc on your liver. This is why it's often referred to as a silent disease. So what can we do about it? Well, awareness is the first step. Understanding the magnitude, symptoms, and implications of this disease is paramount in combating it. As we journey further into this topic, we'll delve into the hidden dangers, the latest scientific findings, and the path to wellness. As silent as this disease may be, its effects are certainly loud and clear. Stay tuned as we continue to unveil the silent epidemic of non-alcoholic fatty liver disease. But what exactly are the risks associated with non-alcoholic fatty liver disease? To delve into this silent epidemic, we must first analyze the risk factors as outlined in the scientific study Recent Epidemiology and Risk Factors of Non-Alcoholic Fatty Liver Disease published in National Library of Medicine, these include obesity, diabetes, high cholesterol, and metabolic syndrome. Now these might sound like everyday health terms, but in the context of non-alcoholic fatty liver disease or NAFLD, and its more severe form, non-alcoholic steatohepatitis, NASH for short, they carry a weighty significance. Obesity, for instance, not only adds stress to your joints and heart but also to your liver. The excess fat can accumulate in the liver triggering NAFLD. Similarly, diabetes and high cholesterol can make the condition worse, leading to more fat deposits and increasing the risk of developing NASH. Metabolic syndrome, a combination of conditions including increased blood pressure, high blood sugar, excess body fat around the waist, and abnormal cholesterol levels, only adds fuel to the fire. But the risks don't stop there. The Mayo Clinic, a globally recognized leader in medical research, notes that some people with NAFLD can get non-alcoholic statohepatitis, also called NASH. NASH is a serious form of fatty liver disease that causes the liver to swell and become damaged due to the fat deposits in the liver. NASH may get worse and may lead to serious liver scarring called cirrhosis and even liver cancer. NASH, if left unchecked, can indeed progress to liver cancer, a potentially life-threatening condition that requires aggressive treatment. With such a wide array of potential complications, according to the aforementioned study, early detection and intervention are of utmost importance. So, what does the latest research tell us about non-alcoholic fatty liver? Let's delve into the scientific world. A recent article titled, Mediterranean Diet, The Beneficial Effects of Lycopene in Non-Alcoholic Fatty Liver Disease, published in National Library of Medicine, highlighted the beneficial effects of a Mediterranean diet on NAFLD, demonstrating that a diet rich in fruits, vegetables, and healthy fats can significantly improve liver health. This implies that simple dietary changes can be pivotal in managing and preventing NAFLD, 
especially lycopene, a soluble pigment found in fruits and vegetables. Furthermore, another study from National Library of Medicine titled Physical Activity Protocols in Non-Alcoholic Fatty Liver Disease Management, a systematic review of randomized clinical trials and animal models, revealed a significant finding. Both aerobic and resistance exercise in human studies were demonstrated to reduce liver fat and to improve insulin resistance and blood lipids, regardless of weight loss, although aerobic exercises may be more effective. With regards to the more severe form of NAFLD, the non-alcoholic statohepatitis or NASH, The Lancet published a study on a new drug called obeticolic acid. This drug showed obeticolic acid 25 mg significantly improved fibrosis and key components of NASH disease activity among patients with NASH. The results from this planned interim analysis show clinically significant histological improvement that is reasonably likely to predict clinical benefit. This study is ongoing to assess clinical outcomes. But it's not only about treatment, prevention is just as important. A study published in Nutrients Journal titled, Sugar Sweetened Beverages, and Artificially Sweetened Beverages Consumption, and the Risk of Non-Alcoholic Fatty Liver, NAFLD, and Non-Alcoholic Statohepatitis, NASH. This research has shown that a higher sugar intake from SSBs and exclusive ASB intake are both associated with the risk of NAFLD. The SSB is a sugar-sweetened beverage and the ASB is artificially sweetened beverages. But remember all these insights are building in our understanding of NAFLD. The scientific community is tirelessly striving to discover more about this silent epidemic. Each insight adds to the collective knowledge bringing us closer to more effective strategies for prevention, management and treatment of NAFLD. The world of science keeps revolving and with each new insight we move one step closer to a better understanding and treatment of this condition. Before we delve into the world of fatty liver, a quick reminder. Subscribe and hit the bell for more health and wellness tips. Like and share if you found this helpful. Ask questions and share your experiences below. We appreciate your support and engagement. Now let's understand the risks. What can we do to prevent or manage non-alcoholic fatty liver disease? Let's talk about some lifestyle modifications and preventive measures that can help. One of the most recommended strategies by recent studies is maintaining a healthy weight. This can be achieved through a balanced diet filled with whole foods, lean proteins, and a rainbow of fruits and vegetables. Regular exercise also plays a crucial role in weight management. However, it's not just about weight. Good nutrition is key to keeping our liver healthy. This means reducing our intake of saturated fats, sugars, and refined carbohydrates, while increasing our consumption of fiber-rich foods and healthy fats. Regular health checkups are also essential for early detection and management of NAFLD. These checkups allow healthcare professionals to monitor liver health and take necessary actions if there are any signs of the disease. For those already diagnosed with NAFLD, it's important to manage other health conditions that could worsen the liver disease, such as diabetes or high cholesterol. This may involve medication, but lifestyle changes like diet and exercise are still vital. It's also worth noting that while NAFLD is a disease primarily affecting those who consume little to no alcohol, that doesn't mean alcohol consumption is safe. In fact, avoiding alcohol can significantly reduce the risk of developing NAFLD and other liver diseases. These are just a few of the many steps we can take to prevent or manage NAFLD. But remember, every individual is unique, and what works for one person may not work for another. So it's always best to consult with a healthcare professional before making any major changes to your lifestyle or diet. Remember, the path to wellness often begins with knowledge and understanding. Stay informed, stay healthy. To sum it up, non-alcoholic fatty liver disease is a silent yet global epidemic. This condition, prevalent in about a quarter of the world's population, is a ticking time bomb, quietly escalating to severe forms like NASH, potentially causing liver cancer. Cutting-edge research continues to shed new light on this disease, underscoring the vital role of early detection and prevention. The fight against NAFLD begins with lifestyle modifications, a testament to the adage that prevention is better than cure. Thanks for being with us on this journey of knowledge. We hope you found this video informative and helpful. If you did, please give us a thumbs up and leave a comment below. We'd love to hear your thoughts and any questions you might have. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon so you won't miss our future videos on health and wellness topics. Remember, your health is your wealth.